What's up, people? Kayaker again. Um, okay, today, what I want to ask you about is how much time are you actually spending investing in your child's education? Not just education as in going to school and learning these, you know, all the book stuff, but their general uh, education to make them a complete person, right? Because it's not only about what I'm seeing in, in you know, in society today, as time... As time goes by, every society, you know, people change to to suit the way uh, times are going. So, what is happening in the past might be different to what's happening today. That's fine and fair and all good. But, like, I'm just wondering how much effort, uh, like, our parents, you parents and guardians, putting into looking after your kids and ensuring they become a better person, right? Because look at this. When I was growing up, right, I don't know, there are people who still do it, but I don't know how many people actually spend time doing it. Like, when I'd come from school, right, my mom would sit, would like, sit us down to make sure that we actually do our homework. And she won't just say, okay, go and do your homework, and that's it, right? She, if she's downstairs in the kitchen or whatever cooking, she'd say, do your homework on the table right in the kitchen there, you get me? So, you have to be there doing it. And then she wants to see what you've done. She needs to go through it and make sure, right? And you know what that does? It makes you feel more confident about what you're doing. It, I mean, the little child won't be thinking about it consciously, but that's what happens. They feel a lot more confident because they see that their parents, the person that they look up to a lot in life, especially at that point, is taking some kind of interest. And you as a parent should want to take interest to make sure your child gets the best education, right? And I also mention it's not just in terms of book wise, but also like historically, making them feel, especially for black kids, making them feel like they're valuable, they're valued by society. They, they're not just another cog in the wheel, in the big wheel of life, right? Like repeating mantras, not even just repeating mantras. I saw a nice video on Facebook with this guy where he was, he had his daughter every morning or whatever. Repeating man, just having a tell, you know, having a look in the mirror and say I'm beautiful and all of that, just things like that. How much time are you spending trying to educate your ch your children, like telling them about about their history, about black history? We we all know what school the school curriculum is about. It's pushing you down one path, right? But there are things that you're not going to learn easily in the schools that we have here. So what do you do? You don't just complain because schools are good. They allow kids from different backgrounds to integrate with each other, and that's good. But in terms of the education, you need to then spend time to supplement that education. So you need to actually find books. Don't just say, oh yeah, they should be doing that. You need to read too. Google is not just for children, you know. In libraries, they still exist, believe it or not, yeah. So you need to spend time, learn stuff. Every day you should be trying to learn something new, right? And then try and impart that on your kids. That's what I'm saying. How much time are you spending to make sure your child is a fully grown, complete human being? I hate when I hear like people say, oh yeah, you know, I know my kid isn't good at math because, I mean, I wasn't good at it either. It's really difficult. It's not difficult. The only things that are difficult are the things that you don't spend time trying to master. Simple as that, right? The people who hate their jobs is because they don't like their job to begin with. So that's why it's work for them. If you really like your job, you will not see it as work. You'd, you'd want to do it. Same thing with math and maths. According to the Americans, math. <laughs> it's maths with an S other than mathematics. Right? Uh, you need to actually spend time doing it. So that you're able to sit down with your children or your child, whatever, after and explain to them what's going on. Even if you don't understand it 100%, you should at least be able to sit down and say to them, Okay, 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 I get what you're saying. Just explain to me again. And you know what that does as well? It. Have you ever had a problem where uh, you read it the first time and you're not sure what it meant? But you read it, you read it again and again, and then finally it starts sinking in. That's what's going to happen. If you get your kids to go over and explain what it is they've done, guess what happens? 
eventually in their mind it starts because they're repeating it it starts to sink in and then they start seeing extra stuff so that's why you need to spend time with your kids and make sure they learn all these things that they need to and like I say especially the historical background of of black people in general you know they're not getting that in society they're not getting that in school so it's up to you the parents to actually take responsibility and do that don't just go out there pointing fingers and saying oh yeah that person's child is this that person's child is that da, 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 the youth of today da, da. you're not teaching them simple as that I'm fortunate that now right I mean some of these things I'm telling you about uh, my mom enforced them on us when we were growing up right but as I grew older I you know because of the way things were from the beginning and other people who have influenced me I started to like learn things on my own and that's why I'm doing stuff like this because I want to make a difference you know what I'm saying and hopefully people don't just spend time looking at all the twerking videos and all of that everything has its place right that's all I'm saying though we give time for everything else right we need to give time for uh, ensuring that our children have a fully rounded balanced life and that they understand that life is not just about the 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 basic physical things we see that's what I'm saying I don't know give me your feedback let me know what you think and once again thank you for all of those who are subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet how could you say you're my mate hmm? think about that come on man stop messing about subscribe come and join the discussion check out the other videos I have and let's try and make a difference all right cool thanks peace